Uh, yeah, hi, my name's Carl, Carl Worley. Uh, but the thing is, I'm not on this day. I'm a great guy. Oh, I, I've been coming here from the start. All I do is Android stuff. So they look at something. We're going to get a Raspberry Pi. I said, my life's too full. Oh, there's no room in my head for one, right? But I actually did two months ago. I went to CPC and I bought one. Um, what, what he's put there, he's, he's having a laugh really, Chinese takeaway, the only thing I did with it, the only thing was wired up in my attic, under port, uh, an obscure random high number, uh, and you know the one line command that turns into a web server? Yeah. So I ran that and left it. Literally, I just left it for about four days. And when I came back and looked at the log, I could see all these hack attempts, and it all said, uh, dictionary attacks, you know, username and password, admin something then roots this 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 and when i looked at the ip addresses and traced them all through they're all from china so the only thing my raspberry pi done has done right is being attacked by chinese hackers <laughs> 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 but the project so then um, i said i was into android next month i want to show this i've been threatening to for a while um i've been working on an android system uh which some of you may know my background is telecoms i'm doing mobile phone stuff anyway uh, and i've got the google push messaging system set up so your eyes will glaze over unless you know what this is. Push messaging is a really efficient in terms of power, in terms of bandwidth, um, and in terms of not draining the battery so your phone isn't polling all the time for data, of gathering data. So it's remote data collection. So everything that everybody's ever said on a Raspberry Pi when they say, right, we want a temperature sensor, we want something on the cat flap, you know, to know when he's coming and going, anything, collecting data locally. If you want to get it on your Android device without your Android device waking up saying, have you got any data and so on, and an hour later flattening the battery, you use a push messaging system. Uh, I only know Android so I know the Google one uh, and I have actually set all that up. So Brian tonight just on my desk there has very kindly given me the actual temperature sensor that I'm going to use. Now I'm not really into the temperature sensor part. Uh, I'm into it's a means to an end you know what I mean. I'm not going to say wow we're going to draw a thermometer on my Android home screen, wait for it to change temperature and watch the thing go up. I mean, that's just one way of doing it. It's basically an infrastructure, you know, it's something that if somebody wanted a GPS system or whatever, whatever else you do, um, it might be um, irrigation, it might be any application for the Raspberry Pi that can gather data locally uh, to get it to asynchronously push it to the Android device is quite difficult. So I've already got the back end going for another system and all I'm planning on doing is wiring them up. And I would have the temperature sensor working. Um, that will be my project. That's what I want to do next month. That's your teaser. That's what you asked for. Uh, I've got to find out where these Chinese hackers are coming from as well and what, what, what I can do about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> two and two together. Okay. So uh, yeah, I'll try later. All right.